Hello everyone, I hope you're doing very well in these strange times. I have some figures and data that I'd like to share with you today. But first I want to tell you about Japan's draconian and ridiculous copyright laws, which makes it forbidden for me as an independent content creator to share uh, on screen or reproduce any of the articles or charts that I wanted to produce uh, p to show you today without the exp uh, express written permission of the copyright holder. So I'll just have to talk us through the various figures that I wanted to discuss. Inevitably, I need to start with yesterday's figures for COVID-19. So these are from November 28th, as recorded by the country's national broadcaster. I'm just going to pull them up here. Um, yesterday, there were 2,684 new cases, which is actually the highest number of new cases since the per day since the pandemic has started. And uh, 561 of those were in Tokyo. That brings the country's total number of infections up to 146,214 uh, active cases. Countrywide, 440 patients are in intensive care, so they got it bad. And so far since the start of the pandemic, there have been 2,123 deaths attributed to COVID-19. These are startling figures, but they're not as startling as the next set of figures I want to discuss with you. I'm just going to get these ones here as well. Uh, yeah. In a previous short video um, called uh, Japan's 10 Tips for a New Way of Life, I, near the end of the video, mentioned that this new normal that we're all being forced to endure and follow um, goes against human nature. It goes against our nature. And I expressed my concern that, um, especially at, right at the very end of the video, I said, I guess time will tell. Well, time is beginning to tell. Um, in Japan, get it here, the national government publishes the official suicide figures for each month. And uh, here is the total number of suicides for the month of October, so last month. Uh, 2,153 suicides in Japan. Now, those of you who are listening carefully will have noticed that that number is actually higher in one month than the uh, total number of deaths from COVID-19 uh, in all of 2020 so far. Uh, and just in case you're wondering, the government data states the total number of suicides so far this year in Japan uh, through October was 17,219. The suicide and other hotlines uh, that, that are available to talk people out of doing the unthinkable um, report that most common reasons that people are choosing to do these things um, is because of the mass unemployment that's going on, the social isolation that they feel, um, and also anxiety just in general regarding the virus. There's also been an increase in domestic violence, um, uh, alcoholism, uh, mental health, and other social problems. Uh, so unfortunately, it looks like I was right. Um, these people left before their time due to circumstances beyond their control, most particularly uh, poorly planned and shoddily implemented policies and measures. We keep hearing um, that the, the, the cure must not be worse than the disease. So I say to all of the policy policymakers uh, and so-called experts uh, who have implemented these measures, your cure is worse than the disease. Uh, these are not just numbers on a page. These are people, people's lives, people's livelihoods. Step up your game, guys. From Ronji to Japan and Tokyo, I've been JT. Love and socially distant hugs to all of you. Take care, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. For more insights on Japan from people who know Japan, be sure to subscribe to the Ronji to Japan YouTube channel right now. Just click the subscribe button below this video and the notification bell so you'll always know when we post something new. From Ronjiru, Japan in Tokyo, I've been JT. See you in the next video, everyone. Genki de ne.